And I'm telling you right now, it pains me to not do it. And I'm not going to do it unless you just drive me to whatever before Wednesday, which is quite possible. It's only Sunday. That's three whole days. I'm really going to give it a big effort. I just won't stand for his disrespect anymore. Period. I promise. I think Nicole's living in denial, and I'm not talking about that river in Egypt. She really wants me to like her. Um, she wants to like me. Um, and uh, the simple fact of the matter is I don't. I told Hardy three days ago I couldn't imagine being here without you. Nicole, are you crazy? If you keep me in this house, of course I'm going to stab you in the back and nominate you and Hardy. You know what? I, I say this in all sincerity, like, uh, I couldn't imagine being without you guys either. Hopefully, um, hopefully he took this one to heart. You know, I really try to teach everyone the deep, dark, dankest dungeon that I call my own heart. You don't shake your head, that's what I'm just trying to explain. And uh, they just won't pay attention. I tell them right to their face, I'm gonna stab you in the back, I'm gonna lie to you, that's what I've been doing, I'm gonna continue to do it. I feel as though I need to be the forefront of people's thoughts at the all the time, and for me, it's easier to be at the forefront of their thoughts as a bad person than as a good person. That doesn't make sense, though. I'm not saying it makes a bit it of sense. Doesn't, it doesn't, none, zero, especially being a smart person. If you're dumb, I'd understand it. And they looked me right in the face and they said, no, you won't, we trust you, you're a good guy, and uh, I burn them every time. Today's the Monday meeting, and I'm not expecting any surprises. However, I unfortunately have been very surprised in the past. All right. Interpersonal issues? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Will and I had a discussion last night, and Will's not going to be disrespectful to me, and I'm going to be nice to him, so everyone knows and everyone's okay. Okay? That's all. Okay. Bunky and Will, in whatever order you guys would like, indicate to the group why you should not be voted out of the house this week. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll go first. Um, don't really have much to say at all. I've uh, been having a lot of fun the last two weeks. Um, you know, the helicopter ride was really fun. I thought the shopping yesterday was fun, and I just think we've been working together as a group. Um, you know, the food challenge, we really came together and did a good thing. And uh, that's it. I've just been having a much better time the last two weeks than I was, um, you know, before that. Cool. I just want to say that I've had a great time. This has been a wonderful experience. I'm going to try not to cry, sorry. <laughs> you know how I get emotional. Believe me, I do too. I'm surprised that I got in the house. I'm surprised that I was one of the 12. And when I was chosen as one of the 12, um, that's when I won. So when I walked in, I won. And everything after that is gravy. If I stay, that means great things are going to happen. And if I go, it means that there are great things out there waiting for me. And... Um, I just want to thank all of you for your friendship, and um, I'm going to miss you guys. Damn you, boy. <laughs> Nothing short of uh, a catastrophe could, could sidetrack my plan right now. It is two days before voting, and uh, for our conversation between me and Will, I told him if, if he has one slip up, one disrespectful slip up, anything that, that's going to make me mad between now and then, he's gone. Who will be evicted next from the Big Brother house? Bunky or Will? Find out live this Thursday night 